morning, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome once again to another episode of The Cider Drinker. Well, if you watched my last review, you know what cider or cider company it's going to be that I'll be reviewing today. Because, uh, well, last time I did Crohn's Old Norfolk Rum Cask, and I ran a little poll to see uh, which of them I was going to try first, because I had three to try. That came out on top, but... The one that was next on the list, or the one that had the second most number of votes, was the one that I'm going to be doing today. Obviously, from Crone Cider, this one is their special reserve, um, which is a whole 0.1% ABV weaker than the um, Old Norfolk Rum Cask at 7.4%. And as you can clearly see, comes in 500ml bottles. All the other ranges will be down in the description below, as always. But I know that you can get this in bag-in-the-box style, probably in like 20 litres and stuff like that. Uh, really looking forward to trying this, because all the ciders that I've had from Crone Cider so far have been absolutely exceptional. So, yeah, I'm looking forward to this. Now, an interesting, um, an interesting fact that um, someone pointed out on my last... Um, I think it was Welsh Toro. Uh, in fact, yeah, Welsh Toro came up with because uh, the last one said it was um, it had organic cane sugar in it, which for a rum cask sort of made sense a little bit because cane sugar can be used in like you know uh, the distillation of rums and stuff. But this one has it as well, and I've checked the other bottles and they all contain organic cane sugar. So. As much as it made sense for the rum cask, it looks like Crone Cider does include cane sugar in all of their ciders. Make of that what you will, but I still think that so far they've all been absolutely exceptional. But I know that some people won't actually drink this because it does contain sugar in. Which is a really big shame because you are missing out on some fantastic drinks so far. Um, so yeah, free from sulfites as well. It's not often that you see a cider that is actually devoid of any sulfites, but I mean this is still good until I think like August next year. Um, oh, May next year. So there you go. So it just shows you that sometimes you don't need sulfites to um, keep this fresh for a long time, but there we go. Right, get the uh, top off. Um, yep, it's going to be a still one. Right, let's see what this one smells like. Ooh. Well, that smells quite mellow, actually. It smells like it's going to be quite um, quite a medium tasting cider, actually. There's a little hint of um, hint of sweetness there, but at the same time, also you're getting um, you're getting dry notes too. Like it's it's sort of like changes. Sometimes it's sweet, sometimes it's dry. Slight oaky note to it. Hmm. Yeah, smells nice. Let's get this poured in. I'm just wondering, because it does smell a little bit like the uh, oak cask one that I did a little while ago. So I'm just hoping that it does have something a little bit different to it and it's not just, um, you know, just another like, well, a reskin, I suppose you could say, is the uh, of the oak cask. But, uh, well, let's go into the colour and, well, yeah, completely still as you can see, but uh, a nice little touch of haziness to it. It's um, not completely opaque but you know translucent in color nice um nice ambery orangey sort of color there looks nice in the glass but what does it smell like hmm it's all uh it's all smelling a little bit subdued actually it does remind me a lot a lot of the oak cask you are getting um oak uh, oak aromas on the nose there but a slighter floral hint as well it doesn't smell as um prevalent as the oak cask was but um yeah still get really nice uh s nice s medium medium style aromas there hmm Sli maybe even a slight hint of like toffee or something like that yeah smells really nice so uh well are crones going to keep up the trend of making good quality ciders let's find out cheers everyone and yeah here's to their special reserve let's see what i make of it Okay, let's get a second opinion. Mmm, that's nice. 
you can tell there's going to be a but. You, can t you just tell there's going to be a but. If you've seen my other reviews, there's going to be a but. But it's not as good as their other ones. Which is, uh, it makes me, that makes it sound like it's, it's an absolutely terrible cider. By no stretch of the imagination, it's not a bad cider. Far from it. It's still tasting really, really good. But um, I suppose the problem is it tastes a little bit too similar to some of their other ciders that are out. Okay, well, it, it tastes like it's got a much lighter body to it. It tastes a little bit watery, actually. Uh, but it's got really nice... It, it definitely tastes like a medium cider. Because uh, initially, you get a nice sweetness as it hits your tongue. But that's, that sort of melds into a really nice oaky dryness. And uh, the oakiness is lingering about in my, in, uh, my mouth, actually. Really lovely, uh, oaky, woody aftertaste all around my... Um, all coating all around my mouth and everything. But it's nothing that I've not had before from them. And I've had it slightly better. I'm, I'll be interested to see um, what makes this a special reserve, what sort of apple blends have gone into this cider, uh, and if that's going to be different from, say, like their oak cask and their, um, and their well, their user-friendly, which I did ages and ages and ages ago. Uh, but don't get me wrong, this still tastes absolutely exceptional, but not as good as the others. Having said that, it hides its 7.4% really, really well. Um, unlike the oak cask and the rum cask, which just hit you full on with like a really big alcoholic burn. Not even a burn, but just an alcoholic, you know, the, the feeling. And smelled a little bit of like ethanol and stuff as well. You could tell it was gonna like smack you around the face. This one is definitely a lot more subdued in its strength. Uh, so, makes it easier to drink for some people. But it's also dangerous as well, because don't forget, this is still a 7.4% cider, so have a couple of these and you'll probably be feeling the effects. Uh, but yeah, got some nice little flavours going on here. Uh, nice, nice uh, body, well, say nice body behind it. It is quite a light body, but as I said, that makes it a little bit easier to drink. Uh, but compared to some of the others that I've had from theirs, it's not quite as exceptional as them. But, well, we'll find out anyway. Let's go in for a final taste before a final verdict. Yeah, I'm getting like uh, light toffee notes there. There's a there's a hint of uh, of orange there too. A little bit of a citric twang right at the end of it. Uh, so yes, there are some nice, lovely little flavours going on in here. Um, and actually, I would say this and the user friendly are probably the two that I would suggest starting out on uh, for Crohn's because. Their other ciders that I've tried have been really, really potent and might actually put some people off for them being too strong. But, yeah, I'd say if you're going to try one to begin with, try the Special Reserve out and then if you like it, move on to some of their other ranges because this has all the, all the flavours, um, but they're all just a little bit more subdued than the other ones. However, with that said, I'm going to go and give Chrome Cider Special Reserve an 8 out of 10. See, you thought I was going to give it a lower mark than that, but no, it is still of the utmost quality, and you can tell that time and dedication have gone into making this cider. Uh, but for me personally, compared to the other ones that I've tried, it's just missing a little little something that um, just stops it from being like at the very pinnacle of, uh, of tastes and flavours for me anyway. But as I said, you know, definitely go out and give these guys a go because they certainly know how to make a decent cider. And with that said, that is another episode of The Cider Drink for you guys. I hope you liked it, and as usual, I will be back with another Crone Cider soon, because I will be finishing off my trio of Crone Cider reviews with the one that started it all, their original. But you're going to have to wait until next time for that. For now, I am definitely going to kick back and relax with this lovely bottle of Crone's Special Reserve, and I suggest you go out and get a bottle too. Take care, guys. Until next time.